Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I was hit full force by inspiration. I was browsing through pages and pages of incredible makeup looks and like the heavy dramatic metallic looks are some of my favorites. They just always look so gorgeous and so dramatic and eye-catching pun intended. Uh, so, and I'm always looking for any excuse to deck out a piece with gold leaf. So naturally I pulled towards a gold tone color scheme for this piece. I started off with a really quick sketch with pencil on a masonite panel and then I gave a really sloppy wash with uh, some very dilute brown acrylic paint just to give myself a base to work on so it wasn't that boring stark white. Uh, and then I jumped in with oils. Lately I've been struggling with the balance between sort of textural, abstract sort of paintings and fully detailed. I keep going back and forth, not really deciding on how things should fall for me at this point. Uh, so I'm going to keep exploring and testing new things and see how things go, but hopefully that I can, you know, find a style that really feels right to me.
I did a lot of glazing in this piece, which was really fun. It's one of my favorite ways to add more depth and color and just richness to a piece. Uh, usually I just use some glazing medium, mix in a tiny bit of paint, and I find that it's best if you put multiple thin coats of color on top. It just creates a much more rich tone, especially if you vary the colors that you're using. Um, sometimes when I'm going for shadows, I like to do a couple layers, some with more purple tones, some with more brown tones to kind of give a more deeper sort of shadow. Glazing is also really great if you want to really amplify the colors of something. It just gives a great pop. I don't know why, but I always seem to struggle with the highlights in eyes. They're super important and they're very easy to get wrong. And yet they can kind of like make or break a piece when you have eye painting. So applying the gold leaf in a nice straight line like this was kind of a fail. It seemed that the tape didn't really stick to the dried oils, which in hindsight totally makes sense. So the leaf sides kind of seeped under the edge of the tape, uh, which ended up making cleanup super messy, but at least the leaf is nice and straight. So I've learned my lesson for next time. Um, either be a little more careful when using tape or just paint on a real careful line. But look how satisfying that is. Removing the tape is like one of my favorite small steps of a painting. It's just, even like if it's not just gold leaf, it's just super satisfying to see that gorgeous crisp line just appear where it used to be super messy. It's the small things. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to apply gold leaf, check out this little link up top here. Uh, in a past video, I created a little tutorial on how to apply this stuff. And we're done thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you see please subscribe to see more thanks guys Thank mm -hmm. you.